another heavy metal which is cadmium which is a divalent cation represent the block element right so cadmium 2 plus when we see it's a divalent atom like zinc and mercury and can be leached from a sulfide or so zinc copper or lead then if we talk about the uses of cadmium the first one is electroplating of steel where it is utilized right then for color and pigment production followed by alloy productions of nick and then nickel cadmium and batteries so one peculiar thing about cadmium 2 plus is it has a stimulatory with calcium 2 plus zinc 2 plus when cadmium 2 plus is taken in excess it generally replaces zinc 2 plus from the key enzymatic sites because zinc is generally the cofactor in most of the enzymes in our body and thus it disrupts the function of different enzymes in metabolism inside our body it also replaces calcium from the bones because both are divalent they can easily replace each other that cause the fragility of bone means bones become weaker very weak and bones become so fragile that they can even fracture on sneezing right sneezing can also fracture your bone they become so fragile and this painful condition is called as itai itai or ouch ouch the disease is itai itai or ouch ouch so cadmium also cause kidney lesions or the cancer of the kidney in japan the source of cadmium was lead zinc copper and cadmium mine drainage the acid mine drainage of that of which contaminated the river water which is used in irrigation of paddy fields so this way this cadmium toxicity was spread there right so this was the thing about cadmium now let's coming to the other heavy metal which is very important arsenic so all as all of you know arsenic occurs in two forms one is arsenic 3 plus another one is arsenic 5 plus so arsenic 3 plus is known as arsenite and arsenic 5 plus is known as arsenate if we see the differences between arsenic 3 plus and arsenic 5 plus this arsenite arsenic 3 plus this is found in anaerobic conditions and this is much more toxic so the form arsenic 3 plus is much more toxic while you talk about arsenic 5 plus that is referred to as arsenate which is found in aerobic environment and which is non-toxic in nature so let us suppose we take an example let us suppose substance a getting converted into a plus by losing an electron so a plus is an oxidized form of a while a is the reduced form of a plus so generally the oxidation takes place when there is an aerobic condition means the presence of oxygen and reduction takes place in the absence of oxygen this can be understood with the help of an example let us suppose we have arsenic 5 plus after getting two electrons it get converted into arsenic 3 plus so the reduction of arsenic 5 plus which is arsenate is happening in the anaerobic condition getting converted into arsenic 3 plus in reduced environment such as in sediments some methanogenic acid is produced right so in reduced environment such as in sediments methanogenic acid is produced and this arsenic problem is most common in India, in UP, West Bengal and Bihar and if you talk globally across the world it's West Bengal and Bangladesh arsenic problem one have to mind that arsenic problem is common in groundwater it is not in surface water so arsenic problem is basically a problem of groundwater not that of surface water that has to be kept in mind so when we talk about the much more detailed mechanism about it so high arsenic concentration in the groundwater have been associated with the arsenic rich sediments of holocene period and these sediments are primarily found in west bengal bangladesh although the exact mechanism we don't know about it but it has been proposed by some of the scientists that it is the results of reductive dissolution 
of arsenate which is arsenic 5 plus to much more toxic or soluble form which is arsenic 3 plus arsenite due to the excessive over pumping of ground water in these areas if we talk about the toxic effect of these arsenic 3 plus so the disease which is caused by arsenic 3 plus blackfoot disease all of you know blackfoot disease is the disease caused by arsenic pollution and it also inhibit the very important enzyme which is pyruvate dehydrogenase all of you know so pyruvate dehydrogenase is a very important key enzyme of glycolysis pathway which convert glucose into pyruvate or pyruvic acid and further into acetyl coenzyme and then into atp through citric acid cycle so if pyruvate dehydrogenase is not there there will be no production of atp now let's come to the chromium chromium is also a very important element as far as the essential nutrients are concerned so the sources of chromium are electroplating industry paint industry steam plants and basically chromium occurs in several oxidation states for example plus two plus three plus six but the chromium three plus state or chromium three plus is essential nutrient is an essential nutrient for human body while hexavalent chromium which is chromium six plus in the water it is toxic for human being it causes cancer of git which is gastrointestinal tract so hexavalent chromium is toxic chromium six plus for human beings while chromium three plus is an essential nutrient this chromium three plus play an important role in the lowering of blood sugar level in the body by increasing the effectiveness of insulin and the deficiency of this chromium 3 plus elevates the blood glucose level inside our body so this was all about chromium and this lecture was represented by the team of ASA Science Foundation Delhi hope you enjoy the lecture